excited about this year's conference because it's he loves me right and so how many of you actually used to grab a daisy and say he loves me he loves me not you know I know with my um, husband Brian we probably could have gone through this whole daisy with he loves me he loves me not I could hardly wait to go out and tell people what God had done for us I hope someday when you get these flowers and you think of how much God loves you, that you can say, he loves me. He loves me a lot. He loves me. He loves me a lot. You are, you are, you are my freedom. We live to higher. As a bridegroom rejoices over his bride, so will your God rejoice over you. You see, he has chosen us. He has already called us. No one is exempt. The price that he has paid for us is not a minimal price. It's not a pittance. It's not just what he could get by with. He gave his life and the covenant is unbreakable. We might be unfaithful, we might walk away, we might mess up, but let me tell you, God never walks away from us. Whoa, whoa. Now it happened as they went that Jesus entered a certain village and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving, and she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore, tell her to help me. And Jesus answered to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part which will not be taken away from her. Did you notice, and this is such a revelation to me, did you notice that both Mary and Martha sat at Jesus' feet at first? We always remember the story as Mary sat at Jesus' feet, but Mary and Martha both started there. Did you also notice that Martha was distracted with much serving? She lost focus of what was really, really important and she got busy. Thirdly, because Martha had got distracted, she felt that Jesus didn't care. Jesus' response to Mary and um, to Martha was simple, one thing is needed. If we leave here today trying to tick all the boxes and change ourselves, we're gonna leave this place determined to be more faithful to God to get better, but you know what, we will fail. Because that's not what it's about, it's not about doing all those things or making ourselves better. What did Jesus say to Mary? One thing, that's all we need to do, one thing.